Hi guys! So today we'll be using crayons to draw a sockeye salmon. Like with any materials we use, I've done a colour swab on the back for each colour that I'm using so that I know what each colour looks like. Sometimes a colour can look completely different on the crayon as it does on paper. So we're going to start off with our sketch. A quick pencil sketch to block in all of our individual shapes starting with the biggest shape, which is the body. Out of all the different species of salmon, the Chinook is the biggest and the pink salmon is the smallest. So not forgetting my blues, I'm going to colour in the background first. I start off with the lightest colour, a nice light blue. And my drawing is going to be the lightest in the top left corner and darkest in the bottom right. Next, taking my darkest blue, I'll colour in the next block of colour, also going over my light blue a little bit to blend the two colours together. Now, salmon are anadromous, or anadromous, which means they can live in both fresh and salt water. They're born in fresh water, like rivers, migrate to the ocean, and then return to the fresh water to lay their eggs. Now, can you see the little specks of white paper peeping through? Taking the light blue I used earlier, I'm going to draw over the dark blue I just used. I'm doing this so you can't see as much of the white paper underneath. Now time to go in with the green. I take a very bluey green first and block in that whole area below the fish. It doesn't have to be neat, as we'll be going over it again with more colour. Now, can you guess what a salmon eats? Any ideas? So younger salmon eat things like insects and plankton, whereas the older, bigger salmon eat small fishes, squids and shrimp. So add another green over the top. I went for a slightly darker green. Now I take my dark blue colour and blend that into the greens, which also makes the green area darker. Then just one blend with the lightest blue colour I have over the top of the whole background colour. And the background is almost complete. Now just a finishing touch to make it extra dark, adding some black. Because it's crayon, the black doesn't look too dark when I put it on top of the other colours and adds a nice shade to the bottom of the fish. Now we'll move on to the salmon. I start with a pink colour and go all over where the red is on the salmon. Next, I take a red and shade in the main body. And when a salmon travels back to fresh water, 
They travel thousands of miles and climb 7,000 feet upstream until they reach their destination. I now switch between two different browns to layer the crayons on top of each other and to get rid of more of that white that you can see underneath. So we're almost done now, we'll move on to the head. Salmons have a slightly green head, so I'm going to use my lightest green colour first to block the colour in. Then like with the red, I'll use my dark greens to shade around the face. And lastly, onto the black colours. First I outline the eye, and then the fin, then onto the mouth and any other dark areas I can see, like on the tail or underneath the fins. Now, just before I refine the drawing, I'm going to use a white crayon to add some extra highlights throughout the piece, like on the body and on the water at the bottom to make it look like the salmon swimming over the riverbed. After adding a little more black under the salmon, I'm going to use my pencil to go over the lines and add in some little details to the salmon. I add lines onto the fins on the top of the fish and on the tail and anywhere else I think needs refining. Did you know the female salmon can produce around 5,000 eggs per nest? These nests are called reds, and a female salmon produces up to seven reds at one time. That means 5,000 times seven, that's how many eggs she can produce. And all finished. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next week. Bye.